Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of food delivery marketplace for the Magento to do platform and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the workflow at the sellers end the customers end and at the admin backend panel as well so today we'll be talking about the uh, web-based food delivery marketplace for Magento 2 and in the second video we'll be showing you the same uh, but for the mobile application so we'll be also showing you how the uh, sellers would be able to create their restaurants how they can basically uh, do uh, whatever options are there how they can manage them with, under their own uh, mobile application so uh, before proceeding further let me give a small gist about this uh, particular module that we have so basically this module allows the owners to land their restaurants over the online marketplace and sell food online with seamless order management using mobile apps and the web platform as well so uh, we'll be talking about the web uh, end today and uh, apart from that the hyperlocal system is also used to fetch the nearest restaurant to the added location by the customers and apart from that the sellers can simply add the products manage the seller restaurant information and work on the order management system from the mobile application and web end as well also uh, uh, we'll be showing you the complete workflow there so uh, let's go to the uh, web store front end and let's see how this particular uh, food delivery marketplace for Magento 2 works at the customers end first and then we'll be seeing the sellers end and lastly the admins as well so here I'm at the uh, web end uh, landing page for the uh, food delivery marketplace as you can see right now so here we have a section to set up the location and we can also search for restaurants or cuisines uh, by typing in the uh, required name here within the search box and tapping the find food uh, button so uh, after the admin has uh, set up all of the configurations from the admin backend uh, the food delivery website would be visible and available for use at the web store front end as you can see here right now so here you can also see that we have different cuisines like Italian, Chinese, Indian, Continental, Thai, Mexican and Mughlai. And here we can also browse the uh, restaurants or uh, we can check the top selling restaurants in your particular region wherever you are. So as this is just a demonstration so I've just added a few uh, uh, restaurants only. So this is the landing page basically wherein the customers can uh, uh, set up their location to find the nearest uh, vendors for the uh, uh, food and uh, apart from that uh, here on the top left hand corner uh, we can basically uh, set up the page header here and this would be displaying the website theme icon on the upper left hand corner and another three icons we have set up here as you can see on the right hand side uh, the first one is for the uh, downloading of the mobile application itself then the second one is basically for the uh, user account that is uh, signing in to their account for the customers and we have the cart option as well on the upper right hand uh, section as you can see here so here we can see that we also have uh, the restaurants uh, by the type of meal and apart from that we also have a why us section here that includes the re reasons uh, which will fascinate the customers who are ordering food from that particular restaurant and we also have a restaurant list and uh, it is visible to the customers as per the selected location of the uh, customer itself so uh, now let's go ahead and let's see how a customer would be able to uh, place an order from the food uh, marketplace here so so I'll be uh, entering my location as California for this particular demonstration so as soon as we enter uh, the uh, location here uh, the uh, uh, results are also being uh, displayed here using the Google Maps API as you can see here so after entering my location I can tap on the particular location that I've selected and according to them we can see the nearest uh, what we say as the uh, restaurants that are available for this particular seller's location so I'll tap on the particular uh, what we say as the restaurant and the restaurant page which would be displayed as you can see here with a banner at the top and the details here for the food mania uh, restaurant apart from that we can contact the restaurant we can write a review for this particular restaurant and here we can see the menu options that uh, this particular 
restaurant po provides like the main course salad starters we can tap on the reviews to check the reviews that have been posted by the customers average ratings can be checked here uh, we can also can tap on the photos section to check the various photographs that uh, that are being uploaded by this particular uh, restaurant we can check the about for them we can check their location on the map itself as you can see i've tapped location and here we have uh, the uh, location on the map for the particular restaurant that we have so uh, uh if i tap on the write a review button here so you can see that uh, we can write a review here so for that uh, we need to log into our account initially so let me go ahead and let me uh, log into my account as a customer first so for that i'll just go to the top and i'll tap on the sign in button so i've entered my email address and my password and uh, i'll tap the sign in button to log into my customer account here and here you can see that i have my customer account and i'm at the my account section here where i can check my orders my address book account information and the rest of the options as well so uh, on the top now you can see that we have this power button as well for logging out of the uh, account there apart from that we can also tap here on the cart or the checkout button uh, to check our uh, cart and we can check uh, what products are there within our cart so now according to my location let me go ahead and let me add a few uh, food recipes into my uh, cart and let me make a check out thereafter and uh, i'll also be showing you how we can set up the reviews for the restaurant there first let's see how we can uh, basically make a review so i've again come to the restaurant page here i'll tap on the writer review so here we can uh, enter the summary of our review and according to the price value and quantity we can provide the stars to this particular store that we have uh, let me close it out now let's go ahead and let's add a few uh, products so here you can see that we also have the menu options for this particular restaurant so uh, i'll add two portions of the chicken continental and quinoa salad two or let's go it for two and continental sizzler we'll go for two now after selecting this uh, we just have to tap on the add button to add this to our order let's add the second one now let's add the third one so as a customer i'm at the uh, food uh, restaurant that uh, is uh, nearest to my location and now i'll tap on the proceed to checkout button so we are right now at the uh, checkout page as you can see and on the right hand side we have the order summary with the products that we have added into the cart and here we can see the, that we have the express fire delivery for the products uh, within this hyper local system so i'll just tap on the next button and on the payment method i just need to place the order after checking my payment method so i'll tap on the place order button now so our order has been placed so if uh, it was a guest then he would have to enter his uh, account details here on the uh, checkout page and then he could have uh, basically placed the order for the food there now let's tap on the order id and let's see the details of the order itself so here we have the items that we have ordered uh, shipping method is there and apart from that if the customer wants to reorder this particular order he can tap on the reorder link that is here and that will navigate him to the uh, particular order and apart from that the uh, customer can also track the order by tapping on the track order uh, tab here so right now as the order has not yet been uh, assigned to any of the delivery guys so that's why it's uh, showing not valid for tracking right now and uh, so uh, i've shown you how a customer would be able to uh, basically place the order uh, from the web end we'll also be talking about the mobile end and we'll also be showing the same functionality in the mobile end as well in our next video so uh, now uh, once the order is placed by the customer either from the web end or the mobile application the next next task is for the admin and the admin will basically assign the delivery boy to the desired delivery boy by navigating into the back end panel so let me take you to the admin backend panel let me show you how the admin can basically assign this particular uh, order to a delivery guy so here i'm at the uh, back end and uh, we'll navigate through sales and then orders so here we can see on the order section that our order is here uh, that's the order number 23 
and let's tap on the view uh, link under the actions column and this would bring up the details of this particular order and uh, from here the admin can basically assign this particular order to a delivery guy by tapping here on the assign delivery bar boy submenu option tapping that up brings up the assign order to delivery boy section and from here the admin can choose a delivery boy from the drop down but the thing is that at this time the delivery boy should be uh, online using his mobile application so i'll just tap it down and i'll select the uh, delivery boy and i'll tap the assign to delivery boy button here and this would assign this particular order to the uh, respective uh, delivery boy and uh, you can see that we have our order details completely that are visible here and uh, now let me take you to the front end once again and uh, let's uh, refresh the page and uh, let's go to the my order section and here we have the order number 23 let's tap on the view order button and uh, uh, now the customer can see the delivery boy information like the name of the delivery boy and the one-time password that is basically required uh, whenever the custom whenever the uh, delivery boy uh, basically uh, brings in the uh, order uh, to complete the order this particular OTP is required uh, by the delivery guy to make the order status as, as complete so uh, the customer needs to remember this and at the time of delivery the customer needs to provide this otp to this particular delivery guy so here you can see that we have the details of uh, this particular delivery guy as well and now from here when the delivery guy accepts this particular order then at that time the customer now can basically track uh, the order so right now we are not uh, uh, done that so Basically here you can see that under the track order now basically we have this QR code and uh, now what the customer can do is, is he can also log into the mobile application and he can basically uh, scan this particular QR code through the app so as to track his order and check the uh, uh, check the exact location of the uh, delivery guy at that very moment. So this was about how a customer can basically place the order and how the admin can assign that to a delivery guy and how the customers can find the uh, delivery guy details. So now I'll be showing you the seller end and the workflow for the same. So for example, if it's a new seller, then he can tap here on the sign in button. He can enter his email address and password and tap the sign in button. Otherwise, if it's um, a new seller, then he needs to tap on the sign up button initially, enter the first name, last name, uh, his email address, he can set up his password and he can create a new account. So uh, let me show you that uh, as well, how that can be done to the web uh, end itself. So I'll be entering my name, my last name, then after I'll be entering my email address. So for that and uh, then I'll be entering my email address I'll be setting my password then I'll be reconfirming my password and thereafter I'll just tap on the create an account button or I'll just set up uh, the password once again Now let me tap on the create an account button. So after uh, a seller has registered himself, uh, then he uh, needs to tap on the become seller uh, option that you can see here on the left hand side. Tapping on that uh, brings up the marketplace become seller section wherein the uh, seller needs to request for the uh, seller panel. So for that, uh, he needs to uh, mention two things. He needs to enter the shop URL my food corner the shop URL and he needs to check on the do you want to become a seller or a vendor and after that he just needs to tap on the uh, save button and now when the uh, admin uh, basically approves this particular seller then the seller will, panel would be available to this particular seller on the left hand side uh, here so this is the customer account uh, section and above that we'll have the marketplace uh, 
uh, section for this particular seller. So after the approval, here you can see that we have the marketplace dashboard now with the, the uh, seller profile and the other, other options as well. So, uh, so after the vendors have created their account, uh, now the sellers uh, or the vendors can now add their restaurant details, uh, which will be uh, done by uh, navigating to the seller profile section here. And here they can set up their restaurant details. So here they can basically uh, set up their uh, uh, social uh, network uh, sections. They can set up their shop title. Uh, they can set up their company banner, company logo, enter the uh, restaurant locality, set up the description for the same, choose the country, set up the rest of the details, and they can set the radius within which they'll be uh, making the delivery under the delivery within section. Apart from that, they can also set up uh, their delivery time. They can choose one, and they can also set up the restaurant opening time in 24 hour format. and. Uh, they can also choose uh, for which days the restaurants would be open and uh, would be providing the services. They can also update uh, or add the restaurant images. And lastly, they can also set up their payment information and uh, basically they can tap then on the save profile button to save their uh, restaurant details. So uh, after they've created their uh, restaurant, I'll just show you one example of how it uh, appears at the web store front end. So this is how the uh, restaurant details would be visible at the web store front end with the banner, the name of uh, the restaurant itself, the location, the ratings, uh, whether, the, uh, uh, whether the restaurant is uh, online right now or not, the serving time and uh, apart from that we can also see the menu reviews photos about and location for the uh, restaurant and apart from that we can also check uh, the main course salad and starters that the uh, that the restaurant is providing we can choose the food type as well from the drop down here otherwise we can also search the menu within that particular restaurant apart from that we can contact the restaurant by tapping here and we can also write a review uh, as you can see here and we can provide the ratings as well for that particular restaurant tapping the contact restaurant brings up the contact seller section wherein we can set up the subject and our query and we can send that up to the uh, respective restaurant itself so that's how uh, after creating the account and setting up uh, the options on the seller profile this is how the uh, how the restaurant page appears at the web store uh, front end now uh, let me take you back to this section and let's uh, see how a, a restaurant owner would be able to set up his uh, new fruit products so for that he need to tap on the new products here and this brings up the section to add a new product to the marketplace food uh, uh, food shop and here you can choose from the categories as you can see here we have created all the Italian Chinese Indian categories and according to them According to the chosen category, he can set up the product name, the description, short description, the SKU price, the availability of stock, uh, visibility, uh, the weight of the uh, product there. And uh, he can also choose the food type, whether this particular food that he is going to create is a veg or a non-veg one. Uh, the, apart from that, he can also choose the cuisine type, like a single one or multiple at the same time as well. And uh, lastly, you can tap on the save button to save that particular, uh, what we say as the product. So uh, now uh, let me show you how uh, the uh, products uh, appear after he has created, after our vendor has created the products under the account panel. So to show you the products that the vendor has created, I'll just navigate to the my product list here on the left hand side under the marketplace block. And here you can see the uh, marketplace product list, all the cuisines and the products like juices, alcoholic drinks, aloo tiki, mutton seek kebab, chicken lollipop, and uh, the quantity pending, quantity sold. So here, uh, after the uh, vendor has created his new product, it would be available under the my product list. And from here, we can also check uh, how it would appear at the web store front end as well. So I just opened this uh, juices and let's open the alcoholic drinks as well. So uh, from here, uh, the uh, vendor basically can check all of the uh, products uh, or the food uh, products that he has created under his own account panel. 
So uh, that was uh, basically about uh, how a customer would be able to place the orders from the food delivery marketplace from the web store actually from the web perspective and we showed you how the sellers would be able to sign up and can log in and create the product and set up their uh, food shop or the restaurants uh, under the own account panel how he can basically add the information there and now uh, let me go ahead and let me show you how basically the admin can manage uh, these things under his own uh, account panel from the admin backend panel so for that let me take you to the admin panel now so here i'm at the admin backend panel so i'll be entering my username password and tapping on the sign in button to access my admin account panel so after you have installed this particular uh, module you need to navigate through stores and configuration to set up the initial configurations that are required for this particular module so we'll be doing the vendor restaurant delivery boy uh, settings as well so under the configuration here under the web pool block on the left hand side we need to navigate to the window restaurant sub menu option and uh, this basically brings up the sections wherein uh, we can set up the general settings and then the restaurant landing page settings and we can also set up the application download from the website so under this application download from the website we can set up the uh, android application download and the ios as well as well so from here as you can see the get the app option is there if you open that up i'll show you how it appears so basically uh, the ad the admin can set up uh, whether the customers can enable can basically download the android and the ios applications uh, from the website website itself so we have set it up at the top right hand corner here for the customers so that they can access and download the uh, ios and the android apps as well and on the general settings we need to uh, enter the google map api key for uh, for the location uh, selection basically and whenever we are checking any of the restaurants uh, their location the google maps api basically shows us the uh, exact location of that particular restaurant on the google maps and we can set up the restaurant delivery times basically uh, so we can uh, enter the uh, delivery times separated by comma here and these would be available to the uh, vendors at, under the own account panel for setting the uh, delivery times so under the restaurant landing page uh, settings here uh, basically uh, for the first option that's the restaurant landing page title here the admin can basically set up a title uh, the text of the title that will be visible on the banner of the landing page basically then we can choose the banner image uh, here so we can add uh, a banner image for uh, the landing page then we can set up the restaurant list heading here the admin will be able to add the text for heading under that the restaurant list would appear and uh, lastly we will set up the restaurant list subheading and uh, the admin will also add the uh, text for the subheading under the restaurant list uh, that appears at the web store front end on the uh, landing page there so uh, these were the three different uh, general settings required and uh, now let's go to the uh, delivery boy management section and let's see how the admin can set up the initial configuration for the delivery boy so basically here the admin can set up uh, the address details that would be fixed from where the delivery boys are going to pick up the orders then we have the latitude and longitude basically the admin needs to enter the, the geographical dimensions of the address from where the pickup would be done then uh, we need to enter the api key so that the, the delivery boys can use the google map feature uh, for uh, basically uh, what we say as uh, delivering the uh, products to the customer's location then uh, the admin can set up the delivery range in kilometers so uh, basically uh, this would be the possible delivery range for the shipping method then we need to enter the email ID of the uh, of the uh, admin that would be used out to send out the emails at the respective times and lastly we can set up the allowed shipping methods for the delivery guys so here we can choose the express fire delivery so I showed you the express fire delivery uh, initially when we were placing the order at the customers end for the web application itself so uh, after uh, doing these uh, settings you need to tap on the save configuration button now thereafter we'll be navigating through sales and then we'll be going to the uh, shipping methods and here we will go to the express fee delivery we'll just tap that up and uh, this brings up the settings so here we can enable this particular module we can set up the uh, title 
that would be visible at the front end we can set up the method name uh, we can set up the uh, shipping type among none per order or per item as uh, required and then we can also set up the price for the same and we can also set up the calculating the handling fees as fixed your percentage we can set up the handling fee we can display the error message uh, if it's uh, if the shipping method is not uh, available for a particular location and we can set up the ship to applicable countries we want uh, uh, ship your products to you can select all allowed countries or specific countries and then choose the specific countries where you want to provide this particular shipping method and lastly you can also choose show method if not applicable applicable and you can set up the sort order for this particular uh, shipping method at the checkout page uh, for the customers so uh, that was much about the uh, food delivery marketplace for the mission to do platform and i hope it helped you out in someone understanding how it works basically we showed you the customer end the sellers end and the admin and configurations as well and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then uh, you can always get back to us at support at webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com and in the second video for the food delivery marketplace for the Magento to do platform i'll be showing all of these features once again within the mobile app itself and we'll be showing you how the things can be done on the go without the need of the uh, web uh, process so uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day